and our ancestors. We repent for allowing ourselves to be hoodwinked. We ask that you will remove the spiritual blindness that is up on us and our ancestors. As we give God thanks for this evening. Father, we just thank you. We give you all honor. We give you all glory. We give you all praise. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. Father, you created this day and you said that we must rejoice and be glad in it. The earth is yours and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. We thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. That you make ways for us. You make provision. You love us with an everlasting love. And tonight, God, as we come into your presence, we ask that you have your way. Even now, mighty God, we come to your throne of grace. But God, as we come, we humble ourselves before you. Hallelujah. Because you're a great big God. Hallelujah. You're a God of judgment. Hallelujah. Even when the word declares that you are the comforter, the Lamb, hallelujah, you are great and terrible. So, Father, we ask that you have mercy upon us even now in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Father, we just humble ourselves and we repent before your mighty God. All that we have done, God, that is not of your will, almighty God, known and unknown, God, the secret things, God, we repent of them and we turn from them now in the name of Jesus, creating us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us, O oh God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you even now that you care about us. And Father, we just ask that your presence be with us richly in this meeting. Father, even now release your angels, Huh, to encamp round about us. Mighty God, to disappoint every device of the crafty, that his hands will not perform his enterprise. We thank you even now that you are the battle axe and you are the rear guard. We thank you tonight, God, hallelujah, that you fight our battles even now and we hold our peace, hallelujah. Father, we decree and declare your word that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And tonight, God, we will be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Tonight, we will be edified. Almighty God. Father, we thank you that your servant is present on the platform even now, Almighty God. And as you have already prepared her during the course of the day, God, whatever had happened, Mighty God, you have given her the ability to overcome, God, in the name of Jesus. You teach it her hands to war and her fingers to fight in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God, that she is ready. Lord, her tongue is now like the pen of a ready writer. We thank you tonight, Almighty God. God, hallelujah, that you undergird her, you strengthen her, God, hallelujah, for what you're about to release in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare as we come on, we will not leave the way we came in the name of Jesus because your word is spirit and life and tonight god it's life and life more abundantly lord you have declared for us god to prosper lord whatever is wrong you will make right lord tonight there will be healing there will be deliverance father you care about us so god what you have planned purpose and ordained for us god will be accomplished tonight Whatever organization, God, whether witch and warlocks, God, whether the entity be alienoid, God, lizardoid, God, we thank you tonight, God. You are fighting our battles and we shut down every work in the name of Jesus, that it will be null and void in the name of Jesus. So we lift our hands, God, and we tell you thanks tonight, God, as you are in the midst to do us good as we give you thanks in Yeshua Amashiach's name. Amen and amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. Just want to say welcome once again to another night of Bible study. Hallelujah. With heart of worship in conjunction with the Lion of Judah prophetic 
Worship Center. Hallelujah. With our host, Minister Apostle Anake Israel. Tonight, let us just get our hearts ready to receive. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, for what God has in store for us. The word will be coming from our beloved apostle. Hallelujah. And at this time, people of God, as we welcome her to the platform, a wonderful woman who is filled with the spirit of God, who speaks the truth and speaks the word with clarity and with boldness. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, just open your mics and let us welcome Apostle Anneke Israel. Good night, Apostle. Welcome. Welcome. Good night, Apostle. Welcome. Good night, Apostle. Welcome. 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 Yahweh, bless each and every one of us tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for this grand privilege once again to declare your imperial majesty over every planet tonight. I want to give God thanks for everyone that is going to participate in the awesome realm shifting destiny altering in gathering of prophetic destiny and permanent change that we're about to embark upon it tonight i want to give honor to whom honor is drew i i don't know i came on a little late so i just basically going to give us one disclaimer and that is to mute all back background interferences tonight so that we will have a ministration that go forth with clarity and without any form of um, implications. I want to greet every one of us tonight. I believe that the weight of the anointing is very, very serious, especially in this end time. There's a demand uh, from the church, from the ecclesia to stop making noise and to be people that demonstrate the power of God. No wonder the scripture admonishes us that it's not by might and it's not by power, but it's by the spirit of God. With that said, tonight, I want to just welcome a few nations. I don't know what time they will be on tonight. We're going to welcome Winnipeg, Toronto. We want to welcome Mississauga, Toronto. We want to welcome Canada. Um, we want to thank God for the new thing that he's doing as it relates to ministry and the people of God in Canada, Canada that has been experiencing tremendous victory, tremendous shifting by the resurrection power that lies in Yahushua, Amashiach. We want to make the enemies onslaught upon our life more complicated than ever. We want to drag them to the court of heaven. And so they will, we will be able to plunder their storehouses and liberate ourselves and our families in the prophetic name of Yahushua. I want to give God thanks for the wisdom. I want to give God thanks for fluency in the Holy Spirit. Whatever the Holy Spirit speak, I want to thank God that he is so good and he is a distributor of all language. The Holy Spirit is the ultimate linguist. And we're going to tap into him for our realm shifting, altering, all, hallelujah, demonstration of the genuine power of God. I pray that he will turn up the power realm in a volume that the enemy will not be able to understand. I want to give God thanks for Yugoslavia, Ethiopia. If you're on from Ethiopia, just um, just just give me a notice that you're on. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for freedom that is coming to Liberia, Lithuania. I want to thank God also for the ministries of those that are coming in from uh, out of Europe, um, UK, uh, Birmingham to be precise and all the other nations that will be join, joining this broadcast. We want to give God thanks. We don't take you for granted. Uh, we, are, we are cognizant of the fact that irrespective of your different time zone, that you're so interested in this teaching and what thus says the Lord, that you're taking the, the time out, out of your busy schedule and even your time zone to come online each time to get the information that is relevant. I want to give God thanks for my spiritual children and all those that have been under my stewardship for five years, three years, two years, 
and those that we have recently pioneered with. Hallelujah. For this is something that cannot be, hallelujah, altered. It is not something that we can share among ourselves. The Lord is our Savior and the Lord is taking it at another level. I was so shocked. I was so Hallelujah. Shock last night when I see the amount of people that came on and so much no and such a short notice. And we're having a grand giveaway on the line of Judah prophetic platform where we are admonishing men and women to become hallelujah revolutionaries in their own rights and ranks. We're gonna have a giveaway at the end of this month during hallelujah. This um festive season that we're embarking in on we just came out of a seven day of intensive praise and we're gathering the saints to another dimension where our courses of events will no longer be altered hallelujah by satanic impressions or personalities or principalities we want to ensure that our realm is so encapsulated with with god's power and his anointing that if an entity will try to come and alter something the ultimate penalty will be the death of their assignment and that ministry of destruction and embargo that the enemy wants to put Put upon your destiny will no longer be something that will challenge you so god has given me a strategic plan for evangelism and those that are going to partake in it they must invite up to 50 person online those of you that are interested in the evangelism of inviting up to 50 or 100 person online each time we come we don't come just to give your word to make you fat but we also want to you to exercise your spiritual muscles and we want you also to burn with the desire of becoming an evangelist for the kingdom of heaven you don't even need someone to lay hands on you just to tell someone you know what we are having a grand time i thank god that the people on line of judah platform are, are walking up and down in that they are inviting people from across the world to come online and tabernacle with us we don't want to waste any any oil that God has given us. We don't want the oil to be just distributed among people who just come and just eat and get fat. We're here to expose the kingdom of darkness. We're here because Jesus bore himself naked on the cross. He have gone through all the shame all the ridicule so he has cleared a part for us to come with the burning sword to legislate the freedom and liberation that comes through the work of the cross and so at the end of the month we're going to have some prizes that will be going out to persons who will invite up to 50 persons online it will be a financial gift from the line of judah prophetic ministry to those if you cannot uh if you cannot buy yourself hallelujah um, um, um uh, recruit persons that need the word that needs deliverance then you can be a part of a group that will encourage people to come to church whether it's local or international uh people are shut in people are depressed people are suicidal all kind of stuff is happening around the world so we want to make sure that while we're looking out for our own welfare we become conduits our vessels and vehicles that god can use and when you when you when you do yourself like that when you release yourself like that in the hands of god god will begin to upgrade you you will not have the staff like moses and ask god what to do god will say what do you have in your hands use what you have and so thank god for for YouTube. Thank God for those that are working with me on our Ruku uh, station, Lion of Judah Prophetic TV. God is doing a new thing and we're going to be very unapologetic in this season because we want when we come on not only to be articulate in the proportion of word that we give but we want your mental realm to change we want the screens and the imagery of your minds to be shifted we want visions or spiritual notions that you may have in time past that have prohibited the manifestation of god's work and will in your life to shift and so tonight it will be all about shifting a secret has been revealed to me throughout the course of the day and so a lady had a problem with her heart and um one of the 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 the, 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 the entity that 
was very well in her heart, giving her just a few more hours to live on the earth until God deeply intercepted in that diabolical verdict over her heart and she was able to pre pre preserve how many of you know that this is not time to look out of the natural lens but you are being equipped by god so your visual acoustics will not be limited just by what you can see with the physical eyes but god wants to take us beyond hallelujah the physical even into the realm of the supernatural if you will permit god to remove thank you prophetess valora to remove the dull screen from your mind's eyes so that your vision acoustic can be open your perceptive acoustic will operate in the right frequency of your gift when you operate at that dimension it makes your christian life much more easier your christian life will not be void of trials and temptation jesus went to is in said matthew chapter 4 all the apostles they were qualified not because they know jesus they qualified because they were overcomer in the book of revelation it tells you about the churches of Tartia and philadelphia and pogamus and all the churches these were proven they were they were overcomer and they reign in the title and the realm of an overcomer i don't know who gotta send me here tonight but knowledge is power and i believe that when we have knowledge we no longer sit down and become wishy-washy children of god who are always beaten up by the enemy waiting for the next attack waiting on what's next gonna happen i believe that if there's never a time we need that lens to be changed is no and we need a different spiritual acoustic there is something that is going on in my one of the instrument that i have so i'm gonna just ask you for three minutes while i play this song i'm gonna rush to turn off that instrument and i'm coming right back to you getting ready to go to the court of heaven and to present the message i got <laughs> under a very strategic team this team has been hallelujah hallelujah this team was impregnated by the holy spirit in my spirit i mean throughout the course of the day i have a total different min ministration until about 7 35 p.m when i got a call that altered the old messages tonight the message tonight is very um very serious the message tonight hallelujah will will catapult and accelerate you to another level because many of us have become victim of some things that we cannot even begin to relate to these things we don't know all we're at we're exed we are vexed by some of these things that we're going to discuss tonight as a result of that many people are becoming so tired of regular church formalities because they are they can almost come and predict what we're going to do we're going to sing a sankey we're going to go to prayer and then what next i believe the ecclesia is more than just singing a song collect offerings and stuff the god has equip the church to take the, 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 the nations into the next level to un, un, unravel the mysteries of the kingdom to demystify hidden things that have been kept a secret hallelujah for many many generations god says he has given that the spirit of prudence is a spirit of wisdom that the prophetic vessel in the person of prophet daniel he operated at that dimension the dimension of of of, of wisdom and insight wisdom is profitable for, for direction and it will give you the insightful information that you need so you can have the right application with whatever god gives you our team tonight is hallelujah uh, is mega mercy on my case lord mega mercy on my case hallelujah i need your unquantifiable unparalleled i need your hallelujah all the, the the measure of grace that i can be endowed with on this planet god because so many things are happening in my life my surrounding my economy my nation my government every sphere of of the human race is under some attack or the other and the reason for that is because satan know that his time is up he is coming to a purpose 
perpetual and with all his onslaught and humanity. But before he give over and hand over the reign to Jesus, he wants to deceive as many people as he can. He wants to kill as many people as he can. But God is standing in proxy. He is in such a realm of grace, endowed with glory, always if to make intercession for us. So we don't have to be afraid, no matter what the attacks look like. Uh, attack look like no matter where they have been orchestrated from the lord has given me an assurance tonight that we are going to be delivered so the the, the team tonight is give me mega grace so we're going to start by going into the court of heaven tonight is the court of renunciation of the lawless immoral hallelujah verdicts and practices of the enemy the father by his power and love and glory will establish us a new person you don't have to shoot your brain out that child don't have to jump out of the car as i spoke to the ecclesia over some three four weeks ago god keep on giving me insightful information that the children are going to come under severe attack i spoke to a lady at length tonight who told me that prophetess i don't know what's going on with the children a young girl out of the blue just threatening her parents that she's going to kill them and another one threatening another parents that they're going to kill them and the list of attack is, is, is escalating. So now is the time for you to put away your indifferences and your so-called wiki-walkie um, Christianity. It's time to have a superpower to re-revolutionize your life or you will become a statistic in the battlefield of life. There's no room for failure at this time we have to hear mark upon power if there's never a time we need to physically declare war against these things that are coming against us whether they're energetic in nature it doesn't matter what kind of destructive realm they are operating from their agenda and assignment over our life is coming to an end if you believe that god has sent you here tonight to gird up your mind with truth the angels of war will be loose tonight on conquest to destroy the enemy and all the assignment no matter how deep they have gone into you or around you thus says the lord god is taking this opportunity to send out his war horses in chariot of fire and this must not be just something that you recite it must become experimental in the life of every man and woman who believe that at this time i believe if god is really showing me all the signs that the apostles and the prophet have spoken of all that mean even the the the, the, the manufacturers of my problem knows that his time is up so i am here to superimpose his defeat and command the mega grace that i need to effectively uh, walk out all my kingdom assignment to be bestowed on me, my family, my ministry, my marriage, my gifting, my calling, my health, and every realm of my existence. If that word applied to you, won't you unmute your phone and shout, Hallelujah! Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' prophetic name. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. 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 This time we're going to go to the courts. Father, in the name of Yahushua, Amma Ashia, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judea. Hallelujah. Father, I ask to come to the court of the ancient of days. Hallelujah. I come to you, Father based on your holy kadosh the holy scripture that cannot be broken father i ask that the courts will be open in conjunction to every decree of righteous men that was made perfected through faith i ask that the books of our ministry and life particularly our family particularly our destiny particularly the books of our health books that has to do with internal realm that we don't even know exist we ask that all books will be open after the order of daniel chapter 7 9 and 10. lord we, we summon yahushua mashiach jesus christ the king of kings and the lord of lord the angels of war 
we ask that you will lose them on the conquest tonight that the enemy seal up on us is sigils is warlocks is grandmasters in all the esoteric realms will be summoned to come to your supreme court the appellate court right now in the name of yah ashua I'm a Shia, Jesus, the anointed one. First and foremost, we ask that if we have sinned against you, Lord, if we have sinned in words and thoughts or deed, if we have sinned in any way that will not cause our archy to stand, that will not cause us to be liberated tonight, Father, we ask oh god we will not come here to disgrace the kingdom we are not coming here to make noise we're not noise makers tonight we are coming on a kingdom assignment we ask oh god for the resurrection power of the cross of jesus to be dominant in our life we ask that every research will be done that will be able to give us the victory that needs to be implemented particularly victory that spoils the strong man and is good and bring satan and his throne and principality into a perpetual ending in the name of yahshua amashiah jesus the anointed one father in the name of jesus david hallelujah in second Samuel chapter 12 verse 6 he was confronted by nathan the prophet about his indiscretion with bashiba father many of us are being confronted with sickness untimely death death vows death hopes blood vows blood depths that has to do with the freemasonry and father your word tell us that the teeth come not but to kill to steal and to destroy but you came that you we may have life i ask the court tonight can you show wonders to the dead can the dead praise you can the dead run through troops and leap over walls can the dead testify of your loving kindness no where we die there's no testimony so while we're here in the land of the living we ask that you will deliver us from the plans and the powers of darkness even men and seducers evil pastors evil prophets evil bishops and the list of evil satanic ministers that before time these people were ordained by you to never make heaven they are preordained to die eternal death but it will not be so for us tonight so we ask so god that as we are going into the dimension of the spirit that any residential power rulers president chief prince general jinx strong man subordinate evil ones that have come down to kill to eat the flesh of of the children god they're human initiators and human conspirators father i begin by releasing an angel of yahuwah with 300 million lesions of angels to enter into our body soul and spirit with the fear of the lord the knowledge of the lord the understanding wisdom might strength power glory light and fire in the mighty name of yeshua burning and destruction accompanied by 300 billion pack of the ounce of heaven the swarms and ornament of the lord jesus christ we ask that the activities of the kingdom of darkness will be shut down and that your people will come into a realm of liberation and emancipation in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ. A sister Valora Thomas online, can you come to the Supreme Court with me? I want to pray for you, daughter, in the name of Jesus hallelujah yes and so father i want to bring your daughter to the court of dedication in the prophetic name of jesus and those are that are among us that have been dedicated to the freemasonry god of the freemasonry that erase and eliminate destiny that put 
wards and sigils to use as cloaks to our ender divine alignment and divine deliverance my father and my god sister Belora is your daughter she has been born to the kingdom for such a time like this and father she come in your name and by your authority and by your glory lord god sister Belora, hear me and hear me well any altar that you have been consecrated or been ordained to or anyone here that is under the influence of the freemasonry blood oath that you are on the agenda to be used as a human sacrifice i ask the courts to be open for you and for anyone that is under the grove the pillow the image of those entity any human being in your bloodline that is offering up human being to those deities hallelujah to empower their altars to empower their priests they have been ordained for condemnation they're selling souls for money sister Valora, i lift you up into the kingdom of heaven i don't know who dedicated you i don't know which altar is speaking against you i don't know which power that wants to torment you but i stand on behalf of you and your bloodline in the mighty name of jesus the innocent one that don't know who is is giving them to be sacrificed to be slaughtered in the prophetic name of jesus christ the son of god hallelujah from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet i decree and declare that you are now becoming the property of the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of god and the power of his christ i prophet sign in the court of heaven over you that you will no longer be a slave to the idols of your father's house the idols of your mother's house for you Valora Pomes have decided that you want freedom you want liberation you don't want to serve the gods of your ancestors can you say after me dear Lord Yeshua Hamashiach Jesus the anointed one Dear Lord, I'm a Sheikh, I'm a Sheikh, the, the anointed one. I renounce every dedication to the Illuminati and the Freemasonry. I renounce every dedication to the Illuminati and the Freemasonry. I renounce their assignment and agenda over my life. I renounce their assignment and their agenda over my life. Today I declare and decree. Today I declare and I decree that you are my god that you are my god i ask that all the documents they have on me i ask that all the documents they have on me due to dedications due to dedication because of what you did for me on god got us ill because of what you did for me on god got us ill god got us ill god got us ill i press into that verdict I press into that verdict and I ask that that verdict and I ask that that verdict will erase all other verdicts will erase all other verdicts and nail them to the cross and nail them to the cross and burn it by fire and burn it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus my father and my God my father and my god i renounce i renounce divorce divorce disallow disallow every agreement every agreement with debt and hell with debt and hell every agreement every agreement with the idols with the idols the counterfeit inheritance the counterfeit inheritance of the freemasonry of the freemasonry and the illuminati and the illuminati my father and my god my father and my god every spiritual objects every spiritual objects that they have placed in my body that they have placed in my body to accuse me to accuse me and to monitor me 
and to monitor me. May you send your angels. May you send your angels. To remove it from my system. To remove it from my system. Today I dedicate myself. Today I dedicate myself. Before the courts of heaven. Before the courts of heaven. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. To Yahushua Mashiach. To, to Yahushua Mashiach. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Tonight, it's going to be brutal. I am trying my best not to really give a long sermon based on the the nature of the things that God has revealed to me today. And what God has basically revealed to me today is the need of many people to be delivered from the verdicts of the Freemasonry, the York rights and hallelujah, all these unconscious treaties and blood oaths and blood rituals and blood vows that we are participating in some of us it is a bloodline issue some of us we voluntarily hallelujah went into different hallelujah different degree of the freemasonry there's over a 33 degrees of them time will not permit me to take all 33 degrees tonight but if you really pray very well tonight because what i am basically um interested in is just laying a foundation tonight because i want to go um um in depth into on teetering of the freemasonry hallelujah they are 34 degrees and many people don't understand that every degree carries its own verdicts its own penalty that affects you it affects your health it affects you in every era of your life so i want to lay a, a basic foundation um on this line tonight so if you're a descendant of the freemasonry and you're on this line tonight and you want to be free the prior point is very vital hallelujah hallelujah that you will pray them and you will you will experience tremendous shifting like the lady today as we begin to pray hallelujah she had an, an attack upon her heart no medication no matter what this woman take she's taking all kind of pill for her heart but when we begin to deal with the real embargo on her heart today to the glory of god she experienced immediate freedom immediate shift from her heart and her brain and she did not feel like she was gonna collapse anymore because the lord was on her case giving her the necessary hallelujah prior for release many of you don't know that if you're a descendant of the mace it doesn't matter how long your parents have been partaker of the york rights or the different um 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 um, um level of the freemasonry you are in for a big surprise if you think that your life is just going to go in peace because you have accepted the lord jesus so there's no need for you to make any emphasis on any form of of, of deliverance there's known some people will tell you that the moment you become a born again child of god you don't need any deliverance don't listen to prophetess anna k because they are hallelujah extremists but i want to tell you something based on my years in ministry and it's been many years now that i've noticed that people when they come into christendom when they are a descendant of the freemasonry their life will be under severe attack and the reason for that is because there are some things embedded in your life that you may not know whether it's embedded physics in physics or mathematics whether it's paper whether it's false or decree some of the knowledge that you're going to find tonight is going to be mini mi mysterious but when you apply the given principle that i'm going to give to you tonight hallelujah it's going to make you unmask some of the method that you may have overlooked hallelujah i wish i could um put up some of my signs but i'm gonna finish 
this on my next platform hopefully i'll get somebody to help me to put up a lot more of the signs so you will know what they mean or i may can send you the pdf so you can unmask the the mythology and the the, the signs that have misdirected many of us hallelujah over the years so, so what is the Freemason and where is this coming from? What's the origin of the Freemasonry? And how, how will I be able to identify if I am a descendant of the Freemasonry? What are some of the characteristics of the Freemasonry and how does that affect my life, Providence Anna? So that's a very, very good question that you need to ask when you want to be delivered from any form of accusation, hallelujah, of the Freemasonry. Okay, so the Freemasonry is a is not a church, it's 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 a religion. Hallelujah. It's an organization that goes way back in history that has integrated themselves with various society over the years. But this one in particular that we're going to focus on is the Freemasonry itself. It is a secret organization, hallelujah, that men and women uh, partake in rituals, oaths, to demonic deities and demonic gods that binds them and their descendant even their future generation to covenants and i want to take my time tonight covenants is a contract that is between two party or more so when i say a covenant i'm talking about something that is constructed between two parties or more so the freemasonry's hallelujah those that are initiated into the Freemasonry, they have to do blood covenants, oaths, and sometimes when they're doing the initiation process, there's a lot of verdicts that are re re released in the initiation process that can bring death, destruction, sickness to the entire bloodline. And so we want to look at some of them and, 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 and understand their operation. The Freemasonry has a, a lot of harms. You have the Scottish Rite, the York Rite, Shriners. These are just a few of them. I am going to talk about, I'm going to give you the name of the 30, the 33 different level of the Freemasonry. I hope you bring your notepad and get ready to write. So even if I did not have an opportunity to go through all the levels with you, you will be able to go before God and individually renounce these decrees over your life. The first one is the apprentice degree. The apprentice degree of the Freemasonry is the beginning is it is the beginning stage it is the beginning stage we call it the beginner stage in the freemasonry hallelujah when one is initiated into any secret society say it's not the freemasonry but any secret society you have to go to what i call an initiation process in the initiational process you will have agreement you will have decrees and you will obtain obtain all kinds of verdicts that comes with penalty and this is why many christians today are suffering because the initiation process you have not known when those things were incensed incent against you in your generation but here you are 10 years after 15 years after you have made a decision to walk with Jesus, not knowing that in your bloodline, some were Shriners, some were the Blue Lodge, some were the Master Degree, some were the Perfect Master, some were the Intimate, Hallelujah, Most Excellent Master. The different degrees is as follow. Number one, we have the Blue Lodge. Number two, we have the apprentice degree. The Bullard and the apprentice degree work together. Then you have the master mason. The master mason 
is the third degree of the Freemasonry. So let me break it down for you. I hope I can get to cover a lot tonight. Hallelujah. The first one is the apprentice degree. The apprentice degree of the Freemasonry, they waste no time. As you go into initiation process, you have become a new candidate. So at this level, you come into what I call the Blue Lodge. It is known as the Entered Apprentice Degree of the Mason. This involves your own free will, making vows, decrees, declaration that can affect you and your bloodline at various level immediately when an oath is entered in you have attached your bloodline even your unborn children to the freemasonry they have now become property of the freemasonry at that level so say for example you did not just stop at the apprentice degree but each time you want to go to another level you want to get big in this thing you want to receive rewards and you want to reach a grandmaster hallelujah you want to reach hallelujah different levels it comes with different hallelujah different um, um covenant and every covenant come with a curse on it curse of heart disease curses of brain cancer curses of blood um sicknesses versus of deep vein thrombosis all kinds of curses that people have to speak i agree so you agree that you and your generation will die i agree do you agree that they will all have cancer i agree do you agree that they will go blind i agree so when you enter into this initiation process not understanding the level of what you're doing all the bloodlines start get affected let us look at just a few i talk about the, fe the apprentice degree then we're going to talk about the fellow craft degree the fellow craft degree in the freemasonry is a level of secrecy this is when the secrecy really really is initiated the candidate agree never to divulge the secret of the freemasonry at the second degree hallelujah the candidate is asked about the desire that they want more light that is illumination so you'll find that people in the, in the freemasonry they get revelation they get um, um knowledge they get ability and this is an illumination that comes from the forbidden tree that we are not to eat and so when you're illuminated you are partaking in the dark secret of the freemasonry at this level masons agree that they will never release the secret that they are initiated on once they violate it the penalty will be like their breast being torn open hallelujah once you agree to the second degree of the freemasonry fellow craft you're saying i am an initiate i am initiated in the freemasonry and consequences will follow me if i disobey here are the consequences you agree that your breast must be cut open your art and vital statistics in your humanity must be taken out it must be thrown over your left shoulder and be carried to the valley of Jehoshaphat. this is key that i just disclosed to you because many freemasonry and freemason ah they use the bible so it's a twisting of truth and error. Praise the name of the Lord. What speak about Jehoshaphat? Which book speak about Jehoshaphat? It's the Bible. When you're going at the second 
degree, here are the curses that follows you. Art attack, being stabbed to death or shot, fear of darkness, fear of being tortured, constant diseases of the chest, brain cancer, heart failure, cardiac failure, respiratory diseases, organ failure, premature death, neck and shoulder problem, physical blindness, spiritual blindness, unbelief, always afraid that someone is going to stab you and someone is going to kill you. What do they do to inhabit these wicked curse? They have to be sworn in. Here is what the sworn in says. The tool of the Freemasonry, it's noble and it serve a stupend, it serve a splendorous purpose. The Freemasonry is upright and superior to other. This is the initiation um, 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 oaths that is read over persons that are coming in at this level. Our ways is not defined, is not defended. Our ways is to be defended and the secret is to be kept in close, close, close secret. No one from the outside must know the secret of the Freemasonry. The Freemasonry is a great, great secret. And the last one you're going to agree with when you're initiated. The deity of the Freemasonry is God. It is the Lord. So when these things are spoken over those that initiated the entire bloodline into the Freemasonry, then guess what? You come now, violated the contract that your predecessors make with their gods. Then you, child of God, start to have ear infection, heart attack, somebody shoot you, somebody stab you, premature death. You're always been tormented by evil spirit, disease in your lungs, disease in your brain, breast cancer, back cancer, cardiac failure, respiratory diseases, organ failure, premature death. All these things take you because somebody sold out the bloodline and agreed to the terms and policies that governs that. Tonight, we're going to break it off us. Mighty God, that's the first degree. Hallelujah. We're going to break. I'm taking it easy because tonight is only going to be on teetering. So we're going to go to each court that governed that false decree, false proclamation, initiation over you and your family. And we're going to renounce them at every level that God will give us the strength to continue from this line. I like the fact that people are getting education for in this time, there will be vast amount of emancipation. For when you are attacked by a curse of the Freemasonry, medication cannot help. You will go to the doctor and still have heart attack. You will go to the doctor and still have brain cancer because there is a verdict that a deity supervises. And once that deity is supervising the verdict, so once there is a covenant violation, you hear dispatch the judgment. This one is in breach of covenant. And that's why it's important for us to renounce them at every level. The Freemasonry gods and deity must be dragged to the court of heaven and you must renounce them and the impact it has on your body, on your soul and on your spirit. So you will not be in the church asking, did I make a right decision in serving Jesus? All I wanted to do is serve my God, but now I'm under attack, brain under attack, heart under attack, all of my body under attack. 
what is wrong there must be something more than this somebody knows what's going on and god is exposing the covenant so you can be redeemed from the curse of the freemasonry hallelujah if you're under the sound of my voice can you unmute your phone and say oh god by your mercy let redemption flow tonight in the prophetic name of jesus hallelujah Oh God, by your oh mercy, let redemption flow tonight. Oh God, by your mercy, let redemption flow tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Because even as I'm speaking now, some of you are already in your society. We're not going to bother you, but don't bother us. We want to be free. So if you don't want to be free, step out of the way and give us an opportunity to receive everything that God has for us tonight uh, in the prophetic name of Jesus. So the first thing we're going to do, we're, th th that is a verdict that needs to be contended because just like how we have the court of heaven, we have the court of Hades. The court of Hades is a reality child of God. All believers who truly repent and follow Christ have been given the power, hallelujah, to dethrone satanic verdicts and edicts from the courts of heaven. The heavenly court is here now where Jesus live, but it is an atmospheric realm. And so when I call on you tonight, where the devil and his fallen angel have been initiating a affliction and curses on us because we have been initiated generationally, individually to the, the covenants of these principalities and rulers of darkness of this world in charge of spiritual wickedness in the heavenly realm, hallelujah, emanating in all form, the prince of the power of the ear and his angelic host have come down to kill God's children. So just like all God says, uh, Peter, Satan is in the court looking on occasion to save you as weed, but I, Jesus, I have prayed for you that Satanic organization and network, judges and lawyer of the satanic court will not fulfill their purpose in you because i am a just god vindicating the first second and third generation of those who love me and i brought you here tonight to give you victory over those curses so you will not die prematurely you will not be the next one in your bloodline that is sacrificed to the idols of your father's house and the idols of your mother's house for you are bought with a price and you are bought with my blood and you are going to experience the shifting right here and right now in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So the first, hallelujah, the first court session we're going to initiate tonight we are going to take the first degree of the freemasonry hallelujah ah to the courts of heaven we're going to the appellate court the appellate court is the supreme court of heaven god is going to bring your file before him and say okay so the sickness of art attack the sickness of untimely death and everything that come with the first Hallelujah, apprentice level of the Freemasonry. She has repented. He has repented, not just for yourself, but for your bloodline. Hallelujah. So now this false verdict of death, sickness, cancer, and everything else that has been pronounced over the genealogical lineage of this bloodline, it must be debunked. It must be annulled and a new verdict. Hallelujah must be superimposed can you say after me as we try to be untethered from the first level of the freemasonry can you repeat this with all humility and simplicity my father just judge of the universe i step into the appellate court of heaven
I come this day on behalf of myself, my entire bloodline, and mother's side and father's side, past, present, even to the future. And I ask that every document of the Freemasonry at the first and second degree that says, I am the tool of the Freemasonry, that says the Freemasonry is noble and serve glorious purposes, that says God that they are upright and that they are superior to all others. Father, I ask in the name of Yahushua Mashiach that every verdict that was initiated upon me, my bloodline, hallelujah, by the Freemasonry at this degree, Lord, I ask that you will release your investigatory angels to go to this degree that is called the fellow crown second degree and the first degree of the Freemasonry. I ask that every curse that has impacted my body, impacted my health, impacted my family members, such as heart attack, premature death, breast cancer, brain cancer, back cancer, lymphobia, lymphatic cancer, torment, anguish, diseases, chest cancer, lung cancer, heart cancer, breast cancer, cardiac failure, respiratory diseases, body failure, organ failure, premature death, neck, neck being severed or injury, injured, spiritual blindness, physical blindness. Father, in the name of Yahshua, I ask that you will summon the deities, the entities over these curses, that every verdict of death, blood oath, blood vows, blood death, blood ritual, blood right, hallelujah, that is claiming ownership to every part of my humanity, known and unknown to me. Lord, I cry in the court of heaven this day that every verdict from the council, from the courts of the Freemasonry gods and idols, Lord, that they will be overthrown by the precious blood of the Lamb. I ask my Father that you will forgive whoever in my family line that have initiated me consciously or unconsciously to the gods of the Freemasonry and that every penalty of death, judgment of death be released from me, my bloodline, my children, the organs of my body, that every bondage that is being initiated as a result of the involvement of the Freemasonry God. I repent right now on my bloodline and all their involvement. For I am barking on this evil journey. Father, your word declare we should have no other gods but you. For you are a jealous God. We renounce their offices, their ranks, their tools, their regalia, their privileges, their inheritance, their oaths, their offices, their titles. Andilio Shatter. By using God, this platform, we ask that every secret words, phrases, actions, pledges, alliance, covenant, contracts, vows, trading, dedication, oaths, bylaws, everything that constitutes the constitution of the Freemasonry. I ask the courts, Lord God, for your divine blood to be released. We educate every office held by us and our ancestors. We repent for allowing 
ourselves to be hoodwinked. We ask that you will remove the spiritual blindness that is up on us and our ancestors. And we ask for forgiveness and ask all connection, all sicknesses, all false gods of the Freemasonry, all the curses associated with the Freemasonry. We ask for freedom now by the blood of the Lamb. We ask God that everything they program in our bodies, in our soul, in our mind, in the children, God. Father, we ask for forgiveness for the actions, for the ignorance of these our four parents and ourselves that this initiation that has introduced death, cancer, heart disease, blood diseases, hallelujah, heart attack, mandaliosha, deep vein thrombosis, lymphobia, cancer of every type, fear of every type, trauma of every type, poverty, God, poor family altar no marriage we ask in the mighty awesome name of yeshua hamashiach that you will remove this verdict from the courts of heaven we ask for a complete deliverance of our blood our dna our rna our chromosome we ask for a deliverance at the genetic level, we ask that heavenly design, heavenly pattern, heavenly architecture, heavenly architecture will now, hallelujah, be in place. In addition to this, Lord, we ask that any instruction that the Freemasonry has given to our family, that Lord, that instruction will no longer follow us. We ask for a reverse of every curse. Curse of sickness. Curse of death. Let the curse be reversed. Let the curse be debunked. Let the curse be reversed. We ask that our DNA strand, bone marrow, Meridian line, energy field, signature, all our acupuncture point, Kadusha Daba, our genetic cells, God, that the entities have been living in, overseen, hallelujah, the covenant, feeding evil entities with our blood, feeding them with our blood. We ask for the programmers that programming the things in us, God, that you will take the oak of the Lord. You will invade their territories, God. Are they in our respiratory system, cardiovascular system, digestive system, hallelujah, muscular skeletal system, wherever is the territory that these gods and deities and groups of demons have anchored themselves. We ask for the blood of Jesus to go in now. Come on, child of God. We ask that every paternal and maternal claim, sponsorship and affiliation, apprenticeship, royal appointment, every ceremony, every offices that we have is annul. We renounce the dedication we renounce the initiation we renounce the operation and authority over our lives in the name of yahshua now we ask that every object every gadget every technology everything they have in us around us through us operating hallelujah to bring information about our bodies Hallelujah, our lives. God, that you will hallelujah, destroy it by your fire, by your power in Jesus' name. Now we ask 
that our RNA and our DNA, all the realms of our bodies, anything in us that is a composite of our humanity that is programmed by the Freemasonry, let the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost remove it now. Remove it now. Remove it now. Open your line. Remove it now. 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 before you come off this line tonight you're gonna feel like something leave your body i'm not just talking about i feel light i'm puking entities that is in your body because of the lodge because of the freemasonry that lives in your body eating you out causing hallelujah your body to decay from internal hallelujah internally no medication can help you ah oh, whatever you've been doing over the years is not correcting the problem until you deal with the covenant that is supervising the attack hallelujah many people are gonna start run off the line because some of them in the mason they're in the church killing god's people the next level we're going to go to is the level of the third degree the third degree of the mason is called the blue it it it, it involves the blue lodge many people do not pass this level because sometimes when they go and they find out what they have to do to go to the other level some people back out at this level hallelujah because when you are sworn in and when you are given alliance or you pledge your allegiance to this degree huh? there's no backing out you're literally going to the pit of hell you already know you're on your path to go to the next level so the, uh, this degree is called the third degree and how do you get out of this degree because it is very very vicious the consequences of this degree is as follows the third degree of the mesa here is what they saw in over you spiritual and physical blindness so people their eyes just start to go bad you go to the doctor you do operation and you you go blind ah this degree is stated if you violate the third degree initiation process you agree that your bowels must be burned to ashes and the ashes scatter between the four corners of heaven so that there is not the least trace of you when you agree to that if you violate it Here's what's going to happen. Physical blindness, death of marriage, death of marriage, death of children, death of family member, fear of death, being burned to death. Some people just tragically burn in a car accident, burning their house, lungs disease, scan cancer of the bone, bone marrow cancer, blood cancer, fascination with the occult and death and divination adrenaline addiction blood oath death oath premature freak accident violent death ritualistic murder ah some of you some of you when when they when they violate the freemasonry hallelujah oh they get a scar 
that is a permanent maiming or scarring a lot of occultic injuries strokes brain aneurysm hallelujah migraine vision impairedness financial problem problem in your stomach intestine cancer abdomen cancer blood cancer liver cancer anorexia womb cancer this is because a false verdict was 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 enacted upon your bloodline here is the false verdict that they read over you the tenants of the freemasonry provide a well-grounded hope for a well-spent life and a well-spent um, um, destiny we are nobler than others in all our endeavors therefore only render truly worthy can qualify to be a part of our order the freemason act and order that's why when i'm around people who talk about my this i just said you oh you're one of the freemasonry subject i'm not your puppet hallelujah because they praise virtues they prize the little things these are they prize virtues you hear what they say in this one therefore only those who render truly worthy can be qualified to be a part of our order thanks be to god we don't need that crap because jesus paid the greatest order the ground is level at the foot of the cross so whether you're gunman gunman prostitute if you truly repent you can receive salvation shout hallelujah to the lamb of god in the name of hallelujah. jesus hallelujah 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 the freemasonry says they, their law, their laws outrank mm -hmm. all other laws. That means their order is above all the orders of the land. They are more superior to women. Men are superior to women. Hallelujah. So you have the men lodge and you have the female lodge. The, the female lodges are the Eastern stars for female, uh, they, they, they are very vicious, huh? female in the Freemasonry because the male of a different um, um, group and the female of a different group. You have the daughter of Job that is also a Mason for female. You have the prophet of the enchanted realm. So female Freemasonry have prophets and they operate through the all-seeing eyes of the, the, the all-seeing eyes of Osiris. They can see through the eyes i don't want to go into that too much i promise myself I, you know i will teach but i want you to get the benefit of the deliverance so i'm just giving you the implication giving you the solution i will move on to try see if we can renounce as much of the order or the ranks of initiation that we can so we can be free hallelujah here is what hallelujah you do in the courts of heaven for the third degree you must come before the lord and say say after me just just judge of the universe i ask the appellate court of heaven this day on behalf of myself my bloodline past present and future to infinity i ask that this initiation oath of the third degree verdict entered into the master mason degree hallelujah that says the tenants of the freemason provide a well-grounded hope for a life well spent that we are nobler than all others and that therefore hallelujah we will not render any person truly worthy unless they are truly worthy so you're going to say father i ask in the court of heaven that this occultic uh, uh, initiation that was done to me and my bloodline by the freemasonry lord that result in uh, cancer of the brain physical blindness death of marriage death of children death 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 being burned alive freak accident loveless people loveless relationship lung disease ear cancer eye cancer brain cancer back cancer skeleton cancer bone marrow cancer 
blood cancer ah brain damages adrenaline addiction blood oat blood vows blood rituals premature freak accident death violent death ritualistic murder uh-huh scarring injury brain aneurysm artism hallelujah hemorrhaging migraine financial loss stomach cancer intestine cancer bladder cancer liver cancer womb cancer anorexia horrible shutter say this loud and clear your honor i ask the appellate court to bring this verdict to you right now i ask for a thorough investigation on behalf of me and my bloodline on mother's side and father's side this day i appeal to you that the verdicts of the freemasonry that will result in sickness and death over me and my family lord if you don't intervene i repent of all the involvement of me and my bloodline in the freemasonry for choosing this degree for taking their offices ranks regalia pledges hallelujah blood oath secret vows we renounce the offices held we repent for allowing ourselves to be oodwink we renounce and realize that we were doing wrong we ask for the blood of jesus we ask for forgiveness regarding accepting the false god of the freemasonry we ask that you will sever every death sentence ay 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 death curse death penalty we repent of elevating ourselves to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil instead of coming to you o righteous judge forgive us we know now what we have done our bloodline knew now what they were doing father forgive us of making ourselves the property of the freemasonry we repent and disagree with their false oath and order lord god that you lord will remove this wickedness of sin lasciviousness from us and our bloodline we repent for perverting righteous justice by your words and by our actions father forgive us we ask today in the name of jesus for freedom from the freemasonry curse from the false god of the freemasonry we ask for complete deliverance of our genetics our dna and our rna that all the pattern all the sicknesses all the diseases that have been invoked on us we ask that it will be blotted out in the courts of heaven my father my father we ask right now that no longer will we be hallelujah the children of property of the freemasonry we ask that every verdict that you have rendered here today will counteract the false verdict we ask for documents to be given to us for the verdict of the court of heaven to be dispatched now for the previous hallelujah renunciation and this join them together lord and hand them over to us even at the genetic levels even as they have destroyed us even as they have tried to kill us we ask so god that you will deliver us from all that penalty and leo shatter you will restore back our humanity according to your original architects architects of heaven begin to redesign us in the prophetic name 
of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The next level we are going to renounce. Huh, this is very serious. So if, if, if that family member passed the level that we just um, disclosed. Hallelujah. They are adding to even the level of the grandmasters. Mm -hmm. So this is very serious. The York right or the Scottish rights are vicious. Hallelujah. People who have been in a lot of satanic ritualistic abuse can tell you that many children get raped at the age of five. Many children are, 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 are destroyed going with relatives that uh, have been in these organizations because they have to give this kind of sacrifice to their gods. Hallelujah. Now this level that we're going to deal with is very serious okay and this is one of the, the the vicious attack from the blue lodge unknown to most people involved in the freemasonry that when you are at this level hallelujah you will never hear good news every day something bad is happening hallelujah your honor emotional roller coaster you're constantly feeling like you're suffocating you're always feeling like you want to kill yourself because a false verdict is up on your head and the entity is continuously releasing that sentence if you're on this line tonight and you always hearing voice like you're gonna die kill yourself you're no good why don't you just take some poison that entity wants you to follow the command because its ultimate aim because you are violating the covenant the contract the vows the trading and the dedication of the freemasonry is to eliminate you because if you are not eliminated you will poise as a threat what do i mean by that you will start to deliver other persons in your bloodline that may be under the same covenant so what they will do they will go after christians the most vicious way to kill you before you can deliver all the subjects hallelujah so you got to be wise hallelujah these um these level create a lot of strong generational issues some of it we we won't even understand on this time this this, this on this side of eternity so there are penalties that involve when you said i don't want to be a part of it you got to get ready to get some serious attack you got to get all the books all the information you can get on deliverance from the freemasonry we're going to look at the fourth degree of the mason when you're at the fourth degree of the mason it is vicious here are some of the things that will happen to you you wonder what no man i went on 70 day fasting and it's like the buckle turn up no man i pay my tithe jesus christ what is going on here are some of the curses that will attack you when your descendant are at the fourth degree of the masonry abandonment you always feel abandoned people always backstab you you always suffer loss you work like an elephant you eat like an ant you always suffer heartbreak always feel hated always feel a level of vulnerability anxiety schizophrenia bipolar add always in despair you always stun and i want to explain that and i see 16 person online if you can just identify that you're one of the one you will have a plan everything go through and at the moment that you execute the plan everything spoiled it is the freemasonry stun they stun you to make you mad that woman is saying i'm one of the one i saw 16 person on this line now whenever you make a plan even you can celebrate it for a while but when it comes to executing that plan something always go wrong number two person i wish you could do it more expeditious so i can prove the prophetic i saw 16 person that no matter how you disguise it you used to be very talkative but no you're not even saying a thing but your your plans are always 
altered just before it can become something that you can rejoice and say well i executed it and it has come to pass i see three persons out of the 16 there's still 13 more person well you must know I, i'm not gonna stress on trying to prove a point to you hallelujah so sister lamika so that's five persons is saying well prophetess anna god is speaking to me is there anyone else that you know when you execute a plan you are being stunned hallelujah let me explain what the words ton mean hallelujah when they stun you there's still eight more person yes nine person ten person hallelujah this is 16 person so when you're being stunned this is what up happens to you when you're being stunned you plan your plan and nothing come to pass the enemy makes sure you will even go to the extent of telling people celebrate me ah huh? look what god has done for me and before you know it you're disgraced out of breakthrough before you know it nothing that you speak hallelujah hallelujah another word um, um okay that lady is saying i am number 12 there's still four more persons hallelujah i'm looking for i'm trying to bring up something i'm glad you're not rushing me tonight okay hallelujah so two you see we have the 16 person about two or three more person is so to be stunned is to be shocked to be stunned is to be shocked to be stunned is is to shock one in temper and belief you send jesus christ god what is this father they stun you you're astonished because you put you 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 you, you um you initiated something and you know that god is backing you on it but because the covenant of the freemasonry is prevailing against you you will bring your things to plan but it cannot be executed so these are people that will feel despair disgusted always nervous always experiencing failure and this failure is not just financial relational marital communicational ministerial in your health it's in every ramification failure come in such a profound way you can have brain failure art failure everything is just failing your life is like someone that live in a dustbin but one of the things the freemasonry does to you is put you in what i call a poor box when you're in the captivity of the poor box of the freemasonry you could hide yourself all you want you could sow seed and raise seed until you break the curse of being a subjected to the box of poverty and take on the superiority of the blood of jesus to invade those boxes of poverty you will always be restricted or confined to the poor box of the freemasonry we are still at level four at the freemasonry renunciation you will always experience abuse even self-discrimination or character assassination always rejected no matter how you try to help people they will always hate you turn on you your best effort is disregarded you are considered irrelevant worthless that's all they trample on you when you are hallelujah initiated generationally and your family they're at the fourth level of the the freemasonry you you will have emotional problem all kind of this 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 embodiment you feel like you know i might as well i just die you will feel like you're emotionally trapped mentally trapped you feel like you want to just run out in the car and kill yourself some people go as far as jumping out of the car slit their throat bust their wrist slit their wrist all of that is a backlash or a repercussion or a retaliation because of a covenant that has been violated 
So many people come into the church and they are singing the first five months of your salvation is glorious ride until you come into hallelujah covenant with Yahushua, you get to realize that there is something other than this that is binding me. It means that something is there as a covenant and this is what is resisting you. And know that you are under oath with God. There is two entities that are fighting in your mortal flesh, God and the devil. So you have now become impacted by a covenant violation and that is what is happening so this level in some of the circles and this degree of this level it is also known as holy royal ark holy royal ark it means holy hallelujah no is royal however this is a doorway that of deeper realm to the messianic lodge the mystery is so infallible so we have to go deep in order to get these consequences of us the fourth level that we want to deal with right now when you're at this initiation harassment from the freemasonry here's what happened your work you find people that have good spirit and they work them like hug even at the workplace in the churches and they are never honored for their work but get a freemasonry bishop or a freemasonry minister they come and like is them they are the one that do the work the devil is a liar they're stealing us of our honor because they are people that praise honor and praise is virtue hallelujah so you will be in that church you are the one behind the work and they oh give the bishop oh they treat the bishop like he's raw on earth and your eyelash will be going gray and you're almost at the point of dropping down and these blood sucking wolf vampire never see the good thing that you do some vampire need to come off your back can you shout amen god need to kill some vampires tonight in the mighty name of jesus Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That pastor Amen. walk your fingers to the bone. That pastor is faithful. But make another pastor who don't even know what's going on. Oh, I call them. So when you have your problem, go to them and call them. Let them solve them. And leave the pastors. Let them fulfill the work of the Lord. Don't burn out God's servants because you praise virtue and the praise of man. You can, they, you can see them easily. They don't really care about the welfare of people. They're not rolling up their sleeve to dig the brother or the sister out of the out of the pit. And you will come as a good person and they will load you with work until you drop down dead. And they say, Oh, prophetess Anna was a, the devil is a liar. I ain't dying for you. Go die for yourself. Jesus already died for me. I don't have to pay the price for no one. Can I have a Lord Amen on this line? In the name of Yahshua. I'm a Shia. Amen. 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 So I say, I Amen. promise, man, you know, I'm a very shouting, I'm a, I'm, I'm a radical preacher. But I promise God, the, the way I want you to have the freedom tonight, I want to take it very smooth tonight. If you are under this curse, you will never have upgrade. Someone will always come and steal your honor. We arrest those thieves in the name of Jesus. We give honor to who honor is true. And if you didn't work for this honor, you're not going to take it from us. For God give it to us. You're a thief. You're a thief of honor. And we walk back our honor in the mighty name of Jesus. If you continue working and you can never reach your goal, no matter if you do five more hours, ten more jobs, you're still underminded, you're still underprivileged, child of God, you're under the fourth dimension curse 
of the Freemasonry and tonight is your night to be free in the name of Jesus. You always feel disabled, always feel that something is blocking the voice of, of the Holy Spirit in you. You sometimes the Holy Spirit is saying one thing in one ears, and that Lord bastard demon is shouting something in the next ears. You are the fine. Hallelujah, approval. Everywhere you go, people question your integrity. You always suffer from religious people. Hallelujah, suffer oppression. You're always characterized and criticized. You always lack finance. You always lost the labor of your hands. You work with a company for 20 years. They don't want to pay you. They want to steal what belongs to you. Your, your life is cut short. You're, dis, you're, you're dysfunctional. You're always continuously undermined, even by people who you know you're more you know, excellent, you're more put together, you're more endowed with knowledge. And so they always undermine the people and, and I like their subjects. This is wickedness in the highest order. We are going to repeat this prior point tonight and get under the fourth dimension or the fourth level of the freemasonry here we go say after me just judge of the universe i ask again to appeal to the appellate court of heaven on behalf of myself my bloodline and mother's side and father's side i ask that every initiation dedication false verdict enter at the secret Mason Mark, master of the fourth degree of the Freemasonry, hallelujah, to be revoked from my body, soul, and spirit. The master, hallelujah, of the Freemasonry that is called the mark of the master, invoke holy royal secret that only the bearer is worthy of receiving. I ask in the name of Yahushua that you will summons the vows, summons the dedication. I ask that this falls of verdict and decrees, proclamation be overthrown in me and my bloodline on mother's side and father's side in the court of heaven this day and be replaced, O oh God, by your blood, by your Holy Spirit spirit and the true word of God, any invocation, any litigation, any dedication that I have been dedicated to the Freemasonry mark of the master invoke as royal secret of the Freemasonry. Lord, ah, anywhere I and my bloodline have chosen this degree for embracing their ranks, their office, their regala, their, their inheritance, God. We receive from them these things and we repent of embracing uh, everything that they offer, even the all-seeing eyes of the Freemasonry, embracing their wreath and their color. We, we renounce, we debunk all the offices. We did not fully realize what we were doing to ourselves, neither did our ancestors. We plead for mercy, mega mercy, mega forgiveness. We renounce every level of the Freemasonry by us and our ancestors and ask that every initiation that introduce all the sicknesses, all the death sentence, all these things, hallelujah, upon us, loss of job, loss of mind, sorrow, mourning, depression, honey, oh, soto, being cut short, financial hardship, continual failure, body failure, brain failure, lungs failure, heart failure, good God Almighty. We ask, repeat it, child of God, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. You gotta repeat it. I cannot repeat it for you. I ask that all connection, all rights regarding the Freemasonry having ownership over me and my bloodline. God, my body parts, 
God, all the organs of my body, let it be severed and every curse associated with the Freemasonry. God, let it be broken now of me and my bloodline. In the mighty, awesome name of Jesus Christ, I ask God for a DNA cleanser, RNA cleanse, a blood transfusion. Mandiliosana Makuturia. God, every idol, every entity, every deity, every throne, every government, every instruction given to my body, to my soul, child of God. Come on, you're dear child of God, you're dear child of God. Step on it, God. We ask that you will remove their rights, their ownership, their title, their lead. Hallelujah, on my blood, on the organ of my body, child of God, pray. Child of God, you need to pray. You need to repeat it. I pray, Father, that everything they are programmed in my RNA, my blood, my DNA, Jesus. Somebody's getting a deliverance right now. I see you. Cough it out, vomit it out now. Come on, come on, come on, out. All their infirmities, all their insanities, all their blood diseases, all their sicknesses in the name of Yahshua, in my body, Lord, in my chest, God. Lion of the tribe of Judah, the great I priest, God, as I repent, release your angels to go into me, into my bloodline, to disconnect me from the timeline of the Freemasonry, the counterfeit timeline, rendering it impossible to fulfill their agenda in my body, in my soul, in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus flush out my DNA, my RNA. Lord, somebody, I feel you. Come on, child of God, release yourself. Release, it's coming out. Every protocol, every technology, every ungodly agent of the Freemasonry, every deity that owns my body, I serve them a bill of divorce, all their hidden documents, all their codes in my body, in my blood, in my organ. Lord Jesus, nail them to the cross. All injection, all projection, all infiltration, all conjuration, all manipulation, all invocation, all interrogation, all harassment, all spiritual rape. They have been raping me with their entities in my sleep messing up my reproductive organ man you say messing up my anal some of you have been raped by them mantiku shatter i decree a blood transfusion right now in the name of yashua i ask god there will be no backup there will be no more interrogation of these demons that is being removed from my body i ask that all the hybrid spirit of the Freemasonry, all entities, all deities, all malevolent beings that are standing in my body claiming ownership. Your time is up. Oh God, arise in this realm. Pull down their altar. Pull down location. Pull down their sacrifice. Pull down their realm of worship. Pull down their sphere. Pull down anywhere in me around me above me behind me below me in every realm that they operate let them be set on fire in jesus name shout hallelujah feel your child of god i feel it Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
That is why when you get those uh, covenants over your body and you take sick and you go to the doctor, child of God, woo, what the doctor is going to do? Huh? The oath is there. You will medicate the demon, pharmacia, that also work with them. We're just a medicator. She only has five years to live. She will die and we will get our sacrifice. No more death by the Freemason. We must be free by fire in the name of Yahshua. Shout hallelujah in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. 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 Here is what I felt when I finished this prayer. Here the Holy Ghost said, No command from the first, second, third, and fourth level. Command the sickness that they plant in the body to come out by fire in the name of Yahshua. Shout hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to Hallelujah. 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 Child of God, I am not shouting tonight. And I'm telling yes. you, the, the anointing is so serious because that oath on you is leaving you. It can no longer hold you in bondage. Just like all they verbally articulated the curse you are at a greater disposition because your articulation is not just you you have power you have clarity you have the word you have the blood you have jesus there back in you and said loose your captive loose and let her go before now you were walking in darkness you did not understand the level of curses and, um, 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 and renunciation that you have to go through before you can totally be liberated so we're at level level five do you know before i came here the entity came and it displays itself i said you're not talking to me i tear off my thing and i say god is it that you deliver me or you kill that and God said, go and do what I tell you to do. I'll take care of that devil. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. You must reach a place. You don't turn back because the devil is pursuing you. It must be an head-on collision. Blood for blood, altar for altar. Come on, somebody. Jesus said it, and it is done. 
in Jesus mighty name we're going to level five the level five of the Freemasonry is called perfect master it is recognized as perfect master this is where they give their hallelujah they initiate prestige honor great position and sometime wealth at the expense of all you tongue talking shouting people because the only that uncle is getting all the money only that pastor is getting wealth only that woman is getting wealth in the family it's like everybody else is cursed because when they reach level five that is called perfect master in the degree of the freemasonry they are now recognized as someone that is the candidate of honor you see them profiling that i'm so and so hallelujah they are recognized as people with affluence and influence and prestige and honor hallelujah that feeds their ego and that feeds their pride that's when i when i'm around people that are in that society and they all up in me i just look at you i shut I, I i i shut down their pride i'm not here to feed their pride or their ego they love to feed their pride and their ego and those that operate in that dimension are the children of leviathan who is the prince over the children of pride leviathan is also associated with this degree of the freemasonry pride can somebody say deliver me from pride oh in the name of jesus amen Deliver me from pride in the name of Jesus. When you're at when you're at level five, that is called the perfect master. Here is what you do. That is why, child of God, listen to me. Anyone that wants to put you in the position of God, they are setting you up for you to fail they're setting you up for you to fail minister sharon winter i have a dream about you last that i will tell you after this meeting people who are setting up pastors are making you the candidate of failure we will not play god in anyone's life we are channels to peep for people to get to know god we deliver people to the power of God. We educate people to the power of God. We also channel you to the source. Pre adventure, you will stick on us and we become a God. And God will not share his glory with no one. And then you will cause that pastor to be in danger because you refuse to go and seek God for yourself. You're lazy and love to depend on, on people like this is a microwave thing clap 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 and god speak god don't owe you that privilege we have to see god why do you think the prophets of all are to go in mountain and separate themselves and see god who tell you have the privilege of bam bam god and god answer your every call what do you take this thing for and you will lead the church into shipwreck you will turn the church into a cult and not hallelujah the ecclesia god wrath will come down on you when you do that Somebody said, not me, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not me, in the name of Jesus. Not me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Not me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, not me. Sister Ingrid, Sister Bellora, all these women have been with me. They know me. You can't, you can't buy me. Don't try to prime me. Huh? I'm not God. I am here to lead you to God. If God can't help you, neither did I, can I. Hello, somebody. It's time we take a stand as God's children. Hallelujah. So when you are at the five level of this position in the Freemasonry, they start to give your ego the food you need. Oh, I am the daughter of God. Which God? All of we, all of we. Can I use Jamaican people? We are all God picked me. Hello? So what makes you think you're better than all of us? All of us have to come through the water, the fire, and the blood. So did you get a different baptism than we? All of us have to go through process. Do you think we did? We just arrived up in here like this? 
Some of us was on the verge of blowing our brain out and God stepping and said, no, here is the way, the truth and the life. All this. Am I communicating to the people of God? Hallelujah. 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 He said this Hallelujah. to say, when you're at the five level of the Freemasonry, you pledge obedience to the edicts, the verdicts, the leaders, the grand masters of the lodge. At this degree, all the curses that we have read from chapter from the, from the first degree on to the fifth degree, if you ever break your alliance and allegiance, all these curses will follow you. At the five degree of the Freemasonry, you will suffer vicious consequences, loss of speech. When you speak, you speak like someone retarded. That's the impact when you don't fulfill your obligation as at the fifth degree of the, of the master's degree of the Freemasonry. Again, it is called the perfect master degree. Here are some of the curses that take you. Speech loss, encountering takeover spirit in your home. Anybody ever put somebody in a position and they want to take over from you hello have you ever introduced somebody to something and they want to take it from you ah have you ever brought somebody on the job and they steal the boss and get you fired yes that is the freemasonry takeover spirit they take over your home your workplace your husband these witches and wizards are addicted to the most prominent place. I am the superstar here. Ah, they love the position of authority like the scribes and the Pharisees. Jesus says, you like to be seen from men, but you're filled of dead man bones. Hallelujah. At this level, child of God, they do what I call it, death rituals. Death rituals are very serious where people start to drop out of your family. Last week, Auntie Maxine dead. Next week, three dry dead. But we just buried for a person. Oh, sister, Marcus died on their son. Why? The covenant of the death ritual has been enacted and people life have to be given for these deity to be a peace. Here are some of the impacts that will come upon you along with those I just disclosed, you will go blind. Retinal detachment. Oh. You have to totally pledge yourself to agree with the grandmaster. And for many of you don't know who a grandmaster is, hallelujah. Many of you hear the term grandmaster. Some grandmasters are vicious. I have a book that... um. <laughs> You have the grandmaster of debt. You understand? You have the esoteric grandmaster of the 99 rem. You have all kind of a grandmaster. Grandmaster of sickness, grandmaster of tragedy, grandmaster of debt. Who is a grandmaster? Let me tell you what a grandmaster is the final. So sometimes when you're praying and you're not getting any breakthrough, you're up against a high ranking hallelujah power a grandmaster as a known means a national or no usually international title awarded to chess player of the highest ranking according to the torturous dictionary but in the secret society the definition for a grandmaster is a title awarded to one of the highest ranker in the secret society a grand master of the lodge is in the highest degree of his work in that industry hallelujah let me go right into the freemasonry lodge now and so you will get the full definition of who a grand master is so when we're praying and we say you are 
occultic grandmaster. A grandmaster is a title of honor as well as an office in Freemasonry given to a Freemason elected to oversee a messianic jurisdiction derived from the office of a grandmaster in chivalric order. He presides over the Grand Lodge and has certain rights in the constituent in the constituent lodges that forms is jurisdiction grandmasters are eye level so when they send a little witch after you and the witch fail the assignment when the grandmaster come after you you better make sure you're ready to battle this hello somebody praise the name of the lord just as you have another title that is a high level like the grandmaster in the freemasonry you have one that is called worshipful master of a large annually appointed hallelujah these um the, the in the lodge i should say they annually appointed these dignity lodge officers to assist them so the grandmasters of each lodge are annually appointed grand lodges officers to assist them in their work and grand lodges officers elect their appointed duty that they want the grandmaster to carry out so that is just what is highlighted but in the spiritual part of it when a grandmaster come up against you he's coming with the sword so people will just get might in their sleep oh she died from a heart attack it's not a literal, it's not a physical sword that cut your heart. It's a spiritual sword they use and smite the heart. When you see a, a grandmaster come, he's coming in his in his regala, coming for blood, coming for sacrifice. Are you learning anything, child of God? In the name of Jesus. Mm, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On the altar preaching and a grandmaster just come and strike you. You have different grandmaster. I don't know if I can go into the different type of grandmaster and how to win the battle over grandmasters that wants to kill you. Grandmasters are very serious because many times when you little Christians are speaking in tongues and they feel like we're a bad, what they do to you is put a death sentence on you. For the for the old day, you will run into car accident. So misfortune just happen until you eventually die. If you don't get the spiritual quickening to know that, well, this don't look natural. It seems like a curse have been invoked against me child of god if you're having an extreme bad day it is not normal hallelujah every day god say he loads us with benefit so if something is coming to divert that prophetic word over your life you know that a curse has been initiated against you a false prediction and it will it will act out if there is no prior to overthrow it so it can be debunked from your life and your activities. Hallelujah. So here's what we're going to do now. This is this is the five dimension I want us to pray. I don't know if I can do six. Come on, we have 34 dimensions. Can I give you all the dimensions? Can you write them down so you can go to God? Let me just give you all the, the different levels. Please take your pens out and write these levels. So if we can't do all of them, you can go to the Lord and renounce them. Just like I thought you now in the court of heaven, you can go to the Lord and renounce all of the different levels. Number one level. Number one level is the apprentice degree. Apprentice degree is called the entered apprentice degree. Number two level, the fellow craft degree. Number three level, master mason third degree. 
Number four level. The secret master degree or master, mark master mason. Number five degree. Perfect master degree of the Freemasonry. That's the one we were just talking about. Number six degree. Intimate. It is called um, most excellent master degree. Most excellent master you will find out the freemasonry love to talk about excellent 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 like the queen of england uh most excellent master degree number seven uh, royal arch it's called the royal arch degree of the freemasonry are you writing saints Yes, Number eight. It is called, huh? Wow. It is called intendant degree. And for short, it is called est. It's a degree. Number nine degree of the Freemasonry is called master elect of the nine of elo of the nine degree hey god number 10 sublime knight elect of the elo of the 15th degree of the freemasonry that's the number 10th degree you repeat number 10 woman of god Number 10 degrees called the sublime knight elect of Elu of the 15th degree of the Freemasonry. That's for number 10. Number 11 degree is called sublime master elect of the Elu of 12. The 12th degree is the Grand Master Architect of the Freemasonry. Number 13 degree, Royal Arch of Enoch, or Knight night of the ninth arch please repeat royal arch of enoch e-n-o e-n-o-c-h or night like what you have night templar k-n-i-g-h-t of the ninth arch Number 14 degree. Hmm. Degree is called elect grand elect mason of perfect illu. That's the number 14 okay. degree. Okay. Number 15 degree, child of God, is called Knight of the East of sword and eagle can somebody say explain this one to me oh these ones are vicious because this and this this level they send the birds at you the bird of darkness they kill with birds and sword am i communicating they are called the degree knight of the east or sword of the eagle 
Uh-huh. What level are we at now? Um, that means you're not paying 16, attention. 16. God bless you, Minister Ingrid. The 16 degree is called Prince of Jerusalem. Degree of the Freemasonry. The 70 degree is called Knight of the East and West degree of the Mason. Knight of the East and West. When I say Knight, I mean like, like the Knight Templar. The 18 degree is called the Green Knight of Rosicross. Rosy cross, and that is spelled R O S R O S. Oh my God, where is it? The devil is a liar. I think I'm at 16. Why did I? When I you see, I'm at 20. I'm supposed to be at 60. Yeah, Rosy cross is R O S E C R O I X. Or another word for it is called pelican and eagle. And it's night, night, night of the pelican and eagle. Then say eagles, it said eagle. Ah, this is serious. So when we come and say, you demons of, you bird of darkness, because you don't know we're fighting a pelican demon, we're fighting a spirit that is coming in a bird form they also portrayed hallelujah themselves in different animals just as bird pelican eagle and all kind of, of, of animalistic entity all right all right so number 19 level of the freemasonry is called the grand pointif the master seat this is high level the grand Pointif, pointif, p o i n t i f f, the grand master seat. God, oh, Jesus, help me all. The twentieth level is called grand master of the symbol lodge or grand master of wisdom. Hello. Did you hear me say they have different kind of grandmaster? Grandmaster of death, grandmaster of sickness. Now we have the grandmaster of wisdom. Hmm. The 21st degree is called degree no chight. Degree no chight or Persian night. Like, like, like Esther, the Persian queen. Degree 22 of the, of the Freemasonry is called the Royal Ox. Huh. Prince of Libanos. Libanos is spelled L-I-B-A-N-U-S. The Royal Ox or Prince of Lebanos. Level 23 is the degree of the chief of the tabernacle of the mason. 24 is called the Greek prince of the tabernacle. So you have different degree, one and two. 23 20, is? What is huh? 23 again? 21? 23. Oh, 23 is called the degree chief of the tabernacle. And it's also the same for 24. You have one and two. Then 25, you have degree knight of the brazen serpent. So when we come and say, God! 
I use serpentine spirit. Yes, these people we're talking about. So these are the animals that they're using in their society. We just hear about pelican, eagle. Now we're hearing about serpent. And not just any serpent. Uh -huh. The 26th degree is called degree prince of mercy. Mm. 27 is knight commander of the temple of the most potent grand commander. Uh -huh. Can you repeat that one for me, Apostle? Knight commander of the temple of the most potent grand commander. I'm just saying you cannot just hold the book and just say, I come against so, so You have to do it individually. That's why I calmed down, taking the time out so you can present your case and take them one to the 33rd degree until every one of these things remove their stronghold from over your bodily system. Are you in agreement, saints? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The 29 degree, the 28 degree is called degree uh, a night of the sun. That should be easy. The 29 degree is called night of St. Andrew or Patriarch of the Crusades. The 30th degree is called Grand elect knight Kadosh, mighty God, or the knight of the black and white eagle. Hmm. The 31st degree is called Grand Inspector Inquisitor General, Grand Inspector Inquisitor. General. Thirty second degree. Sublime Prince of Royal Secret. And the last degree is the thirty four, thirty third, and last. Grand Sovereign Inspector General. Are you ready, the child of God? Hallelujah. The Pastor, the 23rd. I cannot go back over that. I'm getting ready to wind up now. Can somebody repeat the 33rd for her, please? 23rd. 23rd. No, the 32. Oh, 32nd. Let me go back. Wow. Sublime Prince of Royal. Sublime Prince of, Prince of Royal Command. To God be the glory. I want to bring this thing to an end and I want to ask the Lord. Thank you. Should I give you the opportunity, um, children of the Most High God, to take your file individually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, right to 33 degree. And then I will teach you the closing prior when we get back on the next platform. So for the rest of this week, you should be busy surrendering yourself to the Son of God, receiving the atoning sacrifice, and getting all these things on teeter from your organ. Is there anyone on this platform that we have only did, we did only five level, and already you can feel something lifted off your inner man, not just a light feeling, like oh my God, prophetess, I felt like, but you literally feel an entity, uh, a dark, 
hallelujah, over just leave your humanity if you're on the line and you felt anything that's after 12 now and i want to give you an opportunity to continue persistently in prayer and then when you do i'm going to provide minister davis or minister dave antoni with a closing prayer i cannot give you the closing prayer until you finish because many people just like to randomly just hurry it up like that and the backlash and the repercussion is too tremendous where we don't deal with each things in the category that they're given then you see it with the closing prayer and you put the blood on the fire and you walk free again and should somebody else go and reinitiate you and we initiate you into the Freemasonry, the same principles can be applied. You renounce all the levels. I am sorry, child of God, but that's just how life is in the name of Jesus. Do we have any question, please, before we go into um, the next phase of the service? It's already after 12, and tonight was one of the easiest night I've ever had in my ministry. Did he hear you? One quick question because I come on late. Yes. If you're fighting a warfare daily against a demon that's trying to take away your breath, you can literally feel him on your back and in your stomach. What is that demon? That demon is the prince of death. It's the spirit of death and hell. The mere fact that he's trying to take your breath out it tells you that that entity is on an assignment to kill you. So what you need to renounce is the spirit yeah. of death and hell in all its ramification. How do you renounce it? You start by repenting first of any sin that give the entity a legal right. Then you attack it as if it was sent to you. What many people often do are what they do when they are confronted with that kind of attack is go back to the sender and you find out that the thing's not leaving because there's a legal right for it to be there a legal right can be you offend somebody and they send a curse for you to die a legal right can be you do something wrong and open the door so what we do is a general repentance that relinquish the legal right of that entity to to, to um, attack you there's two dimensions of attack. One is a legal right and one is a fraudulent right. When it's a legal right, it has obtained a legal door to enter. When it's a fraudulent right, you can get up and rebuke and fear not because your word, according to Isaiah 54 verse 17, will stand because that is a fraudulent accusation. All right? Thanks, woman of God. Next person. Sister Lamika, we want to pray for you right now. Father, we just lift up Sister Lamika and her household in the mighty, righteous, royal, majestic name of Jesus. Father, we come against the spirit of delay, the spirit of delay that is delaying her life, that is hijacking her finances, that is literally bankrupting the realm of her ability and trying to make her a spiritual retard so we ask for sister lamika's liberation for her and her family father any accusation that is coming against your daughter from the pit of hell that is not according to your righteousness for your child we ask that those accusations will be submitted and the testimony they all that is unjustly hallelujah declare against her we demand a judgment and that the operation of the killing stealing and the silence of our destiny will be nullified by the blood of jesus sister lamika we command the inflow of what good come from the most high to come and overtake you and your house we release the calls that will make you smile we adjust your destiny helper we adjust, adjust the influence of the fear too much going in and out of your influence we close the door at all dimension and only allow those person that god have anointed and appointed in your life for now to be a part of what god is doing in your life 
no on the future in jesus name amen god bless you everyone anyone else i want to wrap up here thank you good night apostle good night yes while you were while you were praying while you were praying before you start giving up um we have hiding in the night um Background is very bad. Do we have two questions at the same time? Yes. Yeah. 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 Why do you want my throat? Uh, yes. Will our host will our host be um kind enough to mute the one that is not talking and Come allow the one that is talking to go ahead, please? Thank you. Go ahead. Yes, while you were praying the last prayer that you did just now, I feel like you know something been lifting off my, my respiratory system. Like you know, I see a thing a around your waist. Yes. So that's why the Lord initiate and engage you first in the prayer of dedication. Children of God from across the world, the way our enemies get to you and to us here on a global scale is through two doors there must be access point either through your knowing or unknowing and they can also invoke a dedication that means you did not partake in any dedication just like what we just learned here tonight but someone initiated you in that and as a result of that they are access to you so woman of god your body is going to become more victorious in your dimension because the dedication is no longer there and this should be something that you practice going forward when you feel like you pray you're not breaking forth you confess you know you're living right something has taken all on you and that's an illegal covenant the dedication must be broken and what's written in their dedicated book must be void it must be nailed to the cross only the relevant word written by jesus christ must be activated and be in operation in your life daughter of zion so that is just the beginning of your breakthrough i saw it today i saw the the dedication and that's why God tell me to bring you online to take off that um, dedication obligation. You no longer hold the title that they give you. You no longer want the office. So all injustice that has been meted out to you, God is getting ready to judge it. When you are innocent, God will fight for you, even if it means somebody got to die for you to live. Do you hear me? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Next person. All right. That has bring us to the end of tonight's service. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Yahshua, as your children are given this task to go on to perfection in their deliverance, it will not be a deliverance that is cut in the process they will walk the process out from one to the 33rd level of the freemason re renouncing and hallelujah denouncing their offices and also the sicknesses and also hallelujah the death sentence associated with these covenant so help me holy spirit I ask that you will give us the guidance that we need to come back after all the levels have been rightly renounced so we can pray a closing and a sealing prayer. In the mighty name of Yahushua, Amashiah, Jesus, the Anointed One. I hand over back to my host in care of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Thanks for having me. We're going to continue in our service on tomorrow night. On the line of Judah prophetic ministry, I need each person to end by 10 person. Tomorrow is going to be a serious deliverance. And I would like you to invite those you know that have a sickness, have a, have a, have a, a infirmity in their body. I want to reach, you want to reach out to me tomorrow for those of you who don't have my contact. The number to get to me on the WhatsApp is 201 539 8703. 
and I repeat 201-539-8703. Hallelujah. You will be informed of the times that we will schedule the session for tomorrow. Want to give God thanks again for all of you on this global platform. Also, at the end of this month, going into September, those who have, hallelujah, invited at least 50 persons, they are stable. You will get a financial reward. We believe in investing in anointed vessel. And I know that myself alone, yourself alone, we cannot do the evangelism on our own. So the Lord has given me... Mm, um, the time tomorrow, Sister Lamika, will be 9.30. Hallelujah. So what I'm going to ask persons to do, for those who don't have my number, so that you can all get the relevant information that you need for the session tomorrow, is to chat me up on WhatsApp at 201-539-8703, Apostle Anarchy Israel. That make it easy for me when I'm sending out the invite so you will not be excluded because I have your relevant information so I can contact you. God bless you. Hallelujah. So we're going to have a, 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 a great giveaway. It's going to be a financial giveaway. You must submit the name of the 50 person that you have um, invited. If you can't do the, um, the task by yourself, we suggest that you get into a group and that you will share the um the <laughs> you will share the commission and so when you get the financial reward you can share it in your group that brings us to the end of tonight's service he that winneth a soul is wise that's the teaching of our father i pray that the lord will bless you i pray that there will be no repercussion no retaliation as a result of this prayer that we have prayed tonight, we continue to increase in glory. God bless you. Until next time, shalom. Good night, saints.